Gazelle has been making bikes for 130 years now. And crazy enough, they were even making e-bikes in 1937. Those bikes had a range of 24 miles, a top speed of 11 miles an hour, and weighed a whopping 110 pounds. But a lot has changed since then. Here we have Gazelle's latest model, the C380 Plus HMB. This bike has a robust set of features that sets it apart from many other hybrid commuter e-bikes out there. Let's dig into it. To start things off, the C380 Plus is a Class 3 e-bike, so that means it's a pedal assist up to 28 miles an hour. I prefer Class 3 e-bikes over Class 1 e-bikes, which are only a pedal assist up to 20 miles an hour. That extra 8 miles an hour goes a long way during a city commute. Moving this e-bike is the mid-drive Bosch Performance Line Speed Motor. It has 85 newton meters of torque and is extra smooth with the Envelo CVT system. I'll get more into what the Envelo CVT system is momentarily. Powering the motor, we have a 500 watt hour battery that is nicely integrated into the down tube of the frame and is also removable for charging. Depending on all the variables like terrain, assist mode, and a rider's weight, you should be able to get a range between 19 and 42 miles. There are two components that set this bike apart from many other hybrid commuter e-bikes. First off, there's the Gates belt drive. If any of you have tried to maintain a chain on your bike, you'll know how miserable it can be. The cleaning, the lubricating, and or replacing the chain is not a fun project, and can be a pricey maintenance job over at your local bike shop. On the C380 Plus, you'll never have to worry about doing any of that because the Gates belt drive is maintenance free forever. Secondly, we have the Envelo 380 Trekking. It's a stepless shifting system unlike the traditional cassette, chain, and driller on most bikes out there. The Envelo system is much like a CVT in a car where the gearing can fluctuate between a ratio of speeds rather than having to jump through a number of gears. At the twist of the shifter at the right grip, you can change the ratio for optimum pedaling. What makes this system so great is that it makes shifting hassle-free. This system allows for shifting under load, at a stop, and when you're freewheeling. It's the same system on many of Lyft's rideshare bikes if you've ever ridden one of those. I also want to note that this bike comes with a front and rear light and the AXA Defender ring lock on the rear wheel. I think this lock is a great extra level of security, but I'd definitely be looking at getting the optional plug-in cable. This is so you can attach your bike to a fixed object using the ring lock. I don't think the ring lock alone is enough, especially in the city. The whole thing weighs 62.3 pounds. It's not the heaviest and not the lightest e-bike out there. Lastly, this bike comes in multiple frame sizes so you can get the right fit for you. As for the design of the C380 Plus, I give it a 3 out of 10 on the Evan Cool scale. I'm not so into the mid-step frame and the components aren't as sharp as I like. They do offer a high-step frame that does look a bit sharper. Overall, function outweighs design here. All right, let's hit the road. I'm a big fan of the mid-drive motors. They are lighter, more powerful, and have more torque over the very popular hub motors. Mid-drive motors live in between the pedals, whereas a hub motor lives in the front, in the rear, or in some cases, in both wheels. There are some mid-drive motors out there that slightly get in the way of pedaling, but the Bosch Performance Line speed here doesn't. There's a smooth transition of power, and the motor and your legs are working harmoniously. I do have to say that the mid-drive motors are a bit noisier than the hub motors, but it's something that I don't pay much attention to. I do feel like I need to mention the Schwab 28 by 1.75 tires here. I think I'd prefer something a bit wider to make for a more comfortable ride on these bumpy streets. The wider tires are harder to get up to speed, but that doesn't bother me much. This is an e-bike. Comfort is more important to me here. Based on how everything looks down there, I think you'd easily be able to fit a wider tire. When it comes to shifting with the Envelo 380, it's a nearly effortless system. Here's how it works. If I'm going up a hill like I am now, I rotate the shifter forward to make pedaling easier. If I'm on flat terrain and want to get up to speed, I rotate the shifter backwards. It's easy and it's less temperamental than a traditional 10 speed. You can change the ratio at a stop while you're freewheeling or under a load like when you're going up a hill. I like it because it stays out of my way. I enjoy how the Envelo 380 system is all housed within the rear hub. It's clean and there's less external moving parts. I think this sort of CVT system is going to be a big thing in the e-bike industry. What I like most about the C380 Plus is that it makes biking more accessible to a lot more people. 
It's biking made extremely easy, and that's because of this Bosch motor, the Envelo CVT, and the Gates belt drive. It's a great bike to get started on. My only beef here is that it costs $4,499, and I know, that's a ton of money. I do think this bike would make a great use case for sharing within a family. I could see a set of parents and a teenager being able to share this bike. That also might offset the cost for you too. It would be a good addition to have a quick release seat system though so you could raise and lower the seat as needed. Overall, the Gazelle C380 Plus would be a good purchase. Other e-bikes that I'm looking at in this segment would be Serial One's Rush City Speed and Priority Current's e-bike. Alright, that's it for me y'all. Y'all ride safe out there.